Hello and welcome to Nick Grit. In today's video, I'm going to go over how to make this super adorable little chica. There's something offsetting about her eyes and I cannot get over it, but there's something offsetting about chica just generally. So I feel like it might just go with the general theme. The cute but somehow dead and creepy eyes goes with it. So I'm just going with it. But I am going to have a different version on how to do anime eyes, which I did for, so I've done this a while ago. I tried doing all the Five Nights at Freddy's characters. This time I'm actually going to finish all of them in the Luna Squish base body format. I did Freddy and I did Foxy and Mangle for some reason. I really like Mangle. I think she's really cute. Um, I did all those back in the day, like three or four years ago at this point. I'll have links down below for those if you want to see those but I never finished them and everybody always asks for Chica. So here she is. This is my version of a Chica doing the Luna Squish body. I am going to do the Foxy, Freddy, and Bonnie as well in the Luna Squish form. The way that I'm going to do this tutorial essentially is the Luna Squish base body is already on my tutorial, on, on my channel. It's linked down below in the doobly-doo if you are interested in seeing that. I'm also going to put in a written version of the pattern on this in the image and also a printable PDF version of this as well. So basically this is just a tutorial on how to do the hair piece, the little top part, the eyes and how I do the eyes and the nose. The let's eat bib is going to be in the tutorial after this one and that will hopefully be uploaded early next week I'm hoping. So stay tuned for that and it will be linked down below if you're watching this say a year from now I will already have had it done and it will be linked down below in the doobly-doo again. So. This is not what we're going to be learning today. This is going to be in a future one. What we're learning today is how to make this cute little chica. Her eyes really do freak me out. So I am thinking I'm going to do a future tutorial on how to do a cricket anime eye. So how to cut the shapes using felt. So a specific type of felt though, because not all felt will go through that cricket machine. Um, basically how to do the eyes that are more reminiscent of what I did on my previous dolls on the Bonnie, the Freddy and the Foxy. I did never, I, I never did the Chica. So how I did it on those eyes, I'll put a little picture here showing it. I'm going to do a Cricut tutorial on how to do that and SVG files and all that stuff. Hopefully related to that will be in the future. So today we're going to go off of the hair, the eyes and the little beak. The rest of it will be from the Luna Squish base body again. And uh, yeah, for let's go ahead and get going with what you will need. So for this project, you will need yarn. I'm using I Love This Cotton in the shade pink. I believe this one is glowing. This one's curry and this one is white. A 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. I'm using my Furls Crochet. Links down below, hashtag sponsored, but I love it. It's my favorite crochet hook and it's amazing. 3.25 or a D3, whatever you really need to get the gauge that you need. A darning needle, safety eyes, or in this case, because I want them to be flat, I'm going to be using using some buttons that are round and a bunch of polyfill. Let's get started. So as I said in the very beginning intro, we're going to do our base Luna Squish body for this. So I just do the bottoms uh, orange basically before I do one final round. This is three single crochet, single crochet around once with the yellow, and then I join like I do with my Luna Squish body and the rest of it is all in this curry yellow color. And now we're gonna do the little hair pieces that go on the very top of the head. All right, so we're going to be using our curry yarn, the same yarn and t uh, color as our head, essentially. So whatever yellow you're using, use that. We're going to create a nice long tail. I like to pull some out just so that I can have it on the ready. We're going to make a nice like 12 inch long tail and create a slip knot. So there, let me move this out of the way. There we go. Put it onto your crochet hook and we're going to chain nine. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We have nine chains on our work. We're going to skip that ninth chain that we just created. So this one right here, 
We're then gonna go into the eighth one. So skip and eighth. That's nine, that's eight. Put a nice little single crochet inside that. And we're going to single crochet in each chain until we get to the very first chain that we uh, created in the first place. So one, two, three, four, and that's seven single crochets, essentially. Five, six, and seven. We have one chain after the seventh single crochet. And what I like to do is I'm gonna go inside that first chain that we created and we're gonna do a slip stitch right off on it. I'm gonna find my scissors. I forgot that you also need scissors, but I have a ton of those handy. And I'm going to cut my tails so that they're about the same length. And we're going to attach these to the top of the head. I use both of my tails as a way to do that. And I'll show you in just a second. Okay, so we have the first six single crochet that we made for our head right here. I like to apply it right along there. So there's our big six single crochet right here. What I like to do is I'm gonna take my darning needle and go underneath the center between two increases essentially. We're gonna pull that through here, let him kinda just hang out there, and then I'm gonna take this one and do and go through the opposite way. So where he just came out, I'm gonna put him through and out on the other side to where the other one just came in. I hope that makes sense. So we're gonna gently pull this to make it as tight as we can. And then I'm going to double knot it just to kind of really pull it in. If you pull it too, too tight, they'll rip. So I try really hard not to. I like to double knot like so, and then that's attached. It's gonna be just sticking up. All right, and so what I do here is I'm gonna take my darning needle and attempt to stab it in as close as I can and just kind of feed it through until I have my tails nice and hidden. I like to go at multiple different angles because I find that it helps hide it a little bit better. I'm gonna do that for all three of my little pieces here. Essentially, I'm gonna hide my tails right there, go through another angle right there, and then I'm gonna cut those off. These are done, that part is attached, and I didn't even have to use hot glue to do it either. I know I'm growing as an amigurumi artist. All right, so now you have two more to do, and essentially what I did there is I'm going to do the exact same thing, but make it so that they're evenly spaced out, and that's what I'm going to do. The exact same thing that I did with this, but I'm gonna do it across evenly that first six single crochet. I'll be right back, and I'll show you how we do the eyes. All right, so now I'm gonna pop up a pattern for the eyeball. The eyeball is pretty simple. Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to just do the first three rounds of our head, and we're only gonna increase up to 18, essentially. We're going to take that eyeball off. I kind of wedged him in there so that he'll fit, and essentially we're going to make our ring, put six single crochet inside with whatever the eye color you choose to be. I chose pink because that's what I found most likely resembles what Chica's eyes color are. Sometimes you can see different ones, so I chose pink because that's the most common one that I saw. And essentially we're gonna go from six single crochet up to 12, still using that pink. And then for the last round, we're going to single crochet one, increase, single crochet one, increase, and go from 12 up to 18 with the white, and I will show you the entirety of it. So basically I'm just gonna put the eye in there. I'm going to take some hot glue and stick them on, and that's how I'm going to actually attach these. I'm going to hide my tails and let the hot glue just kind of press along the back and stick it to it, essentially. I like this more than the safety eyes that I've been using because the safety eyes kind of poke out too much in order for me to actually attach the eye onto the face, and that's a bummer. So I'm not gonna attach the eyes until after I make the beak because I like to attach the beak first, center it, and then I'll put the eyes on after that. But we're going to make the little eye first, essentially. We're going to take our nice pink yarn or whatever you want the main eye color to be, however you wanna go about it. We're gonna take that, make a decently long tail just because we're going to be doing something just slightly 
different with the first, well, really the second round. So we're gonna do our make ring. So one and two. We have two chains right here. This is how I do it. You can make your ring however you wanna do it. And inside that ring, we're gonna go inside our first chain. And that's what I use for my ring. But however you wanna do your ring is fine. I'm going to put six single crochet on the inside of it. So three, four, five, and six. And essentially what I like to do in order to hide my tails and keep things nice and firm, we're going to actually work with our tail as if it is a piece of our stitches right here. We're gonna pull it along the front and I like to go through front loop only, so I'll show you. We're gonna go, gonna, we're going to go through the front loop only. I'm gonna pull my tail up to the front of that and act as if it is a piece of my stitch. And we're going to keep that the entire time as I try not to split my yarn. Go into the second one and increase. Essentially, we're putting two single crochet inside every single stitch from the first round that we just did with our six single crochet, going from six up to 12 because we're doubling them. So one, two, and just keeping that tail as if it is the part of the front loop that we're going through when we go inside of our stitch. So this is the third stitch, one, and then this is our increase. Fourth stitch, one, and increase. Fifth stitch, one, and increase. And then sixth stitch, one, and then on this final stitch, I don't like to pull through the second loop. So I have two loops still on here. I'm gonna fix my tail, kind of let it pull a little bit just to make sure that it's not rising up anywhere. But then we're going to take our white yarn. I should have already undone this, but not a big deal. What I like to do here in order to make this look a bit more seamless, leave our tail to the running to the back and we're gonna take our white yarn and attach it. The way that I do that is I kind of just hold it to the back and pull it through the final stitch. So now what we're going to do is increase. We are now on round three. So and do our single crochet one, and then in the next stitch, we're going to increase by putting two stitches inside the same stitch. So there's one, and then there's two stitches in the next one. One, and then two stitches inside this second stitch, and we're gonna alternate that for a total of a, a total repeat of six times total, essentially. One and increase. E. One and increase. I think we have two more repetitions. One. And increase. one and our final increase two so now let's slip stitch into the very first stitch there pull it like that i'm going to take my skeezers wherever those went I've, see i've got five million different ones around i'm gonna make a nice long tail just so that i can figure things out later if i need to pull that through go like that kind of pull it underneath the stitch so that I don't have to worry about it. And now it's nice and round. And what I like to do here is A, I'm going to double knot the white and active pink that's still kind of not cut off. I'm gonna double knot that and tighten it a little bit so that it can look a little bit more smooth on the side. I'm actually gonna take my non-active pink and chop that off because I worked it through so many stitches, I don't need it there anymore, it's just, in the way and because I hit it it's not a problem in the future it won't come undone so we're gonna do that again with that and we're gonna cut those nice and short so that they can hide along the back and then I'm going to just take my little eye here I bought these from Hobby Lobby as well but you can get safety eyes really anywhere these are just the zoology buttons that I really like that imitate the appearance of a safety eye I just like how it looks, and we're just gonna kind of shove it into the center over and over again eee! of my little eyeball. I'm gonna hot glue right there and there, stick it in after I've made a little divot hole in the side. 
so that it'll actually stay. And then we're going to work on the beak. And as soon as the beak is done, we can attach these after the beak is sewn on. On to the beak! All right, so now we're onto the beak, and it's going to be a little bit different than usual. So what we do here is, again, I like to leave nice long tails. We're going to make a nice little slip knot, put that onto our hook, same size hook as the entire time, and we're going to chain 11. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. We have 11 chains on our work right here. We're going to single crochet into these and then go around the corner and single crochet around the other side. The way that I do that is we're going to skip our 11th chain. So this one right here, we're going to skip that and go into the 10th chain from our hook. We're going to single crochet into the next nine chains and I'll show you what we do for our very first chain or very last depending on how you want to view it uh, on the very end there so two three four five six seven eight and nine. So now we have nine single crochet on our work right there making a nice long line. It should look like this and what we're going to do from here is we're going to go into our final or our first, the very first one that we made and we're going to put three single crochet inside that one loop. Two, and three. And essentially what we're doing is a corner increase that's going to look a little bit open but we're going to pull that a little bit tight and it'll tighten it up and what we're going to do from here is we're going to keep our tail as if it is a piece of our work just like we did for our eyeball but we're going to turn and now we're going to work through the back stitches we have one two three four five six seven eight nine stitches here there's technically one right there but it's really pulled tight and we're essentially skipping it just like we did and we're going to repeat what we did before where we skipped our first single crochet nine and then we're going to do another corner so here i'm skipping this one right here it's a little bit tight but you can't really see it go into the first one right there and we're going through the back loops i'm keeping my tail as if it is a piece of my work and tightening tightening that essentially into it so three these nice little loops right here four pulling my tail ever so slightly every once in a while five six seven eight and nine and then we're going to pull our tail. We have this little bump right here at the very tip. We're going to put three single crochet inside of that bump and keeping our tail as if it is a piece of our work the entire time. Two and three. So now that's round one. We created the base of our beak and essentially for rounds two through five, so two, three, four, and five, we have four more rounds where we're going to treat this tail as the very beginning of our row and we're going to just single crochet around. You should have 24 stitches on your work because we had our nine chains that we single crocheted into and then add the three on the end. That makes 12 and you did that twice so that makes it 24. We're going to just single crochet around all those times for rows two through five creating your uh, beak essentially by going in the round this way it creates kind of like this square tip to the beak and the sewing is going to be the part that's a little bit harder because we're going to shape it while we're sewing it along the top to give it that kind of duck bill like 
round shape, the little nostril top part. So essentially, we're just going to single crochet around, going around and around and around. I'll keep going until I move my tail. So I'm doing this for round two, but for rounds three through five, I'm going to go off camera and finish that off off camera. But here, we're going to just go around our corner, trying not to go too, too fast so you can't see but also fast enough that it's not obnoxious there we go and we're going to keep going and going and going just like the energizer bunny getting the hair out of my yarn that's a constant struggle i have two cats and they like to be a part of my projects they always will be i there's no avoiding it so we're on the last two stitches of row two and this is going to take us into round three so there we go that is round three's little tip there i believe that's actually round three so we're going to take our tail the one that we worked into our work you can just chop it off but i like using it as a uh, marker for my work and that is a designator for hey we are now on round three and i'm going to go do rounds three through five you can already see how that makes a really cool shape like that i'll be right back as soon as i get rounds three four and five done just single crocheting around maintaining that 24 stitch number for the entirety of those three rounds I'll be right back. All right, so we have already added the little top feathers to the top of our head here. I showed how to do that. But what we're going to do next is we're going to actually sew on our nose. I just finished doing the rounds that I needed to to finish it off. I slip stitched on the side here and I left a very, very long tail. And here, I like to take this, so what we wind up doing, I'm going to attach these afterwards. What I like to attach first is the beak to make sure that I get it centered. If you just do this and you just sew across, it'll end up just being a straight line. I don't want that, so I kind of pinch it along the sides and make the center kind of pop up, if that makes sense. I try to make it as centered as I can, and then what I do from here is I'll take my little... Uh, pins. These are called marking pins. I have a uh, link for these down below for wooden versions of this. You can also just get these at Joann's, I believe, also at Hobby Lobby and other craft stores. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wiggle it into there. And then I kind of just keep it pinched and keep it centered where I want it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take it and I'm going to sew it all along here. I have sewing tutorials down in the description and in my beginning uh, tutorials and in my 101 for crochet tutorials. So if you want to see how I go about that exactly, that's what I do. But essentially, I just try to create and manipulate the shape, essentially. So I'm going to start here and curve it up and down, and I'm going to try to make it the shape. I'm not going to add stuffing to the inside of our beak. I'm just going to keep it that way. And then when I sew along the bottom, that's going to go straight across essentially down those. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I'm gonna attach the eyes and then that's pretty much all there is to this chica. Again, we're going to do the bib in a future tutorial, which will be uploaded right after this one, hopefully. All right, so I actually tried something and I am really excited with how it turned out. I'm actually gonna remove the eyes for right now, but that's where the eye placement is probably going to be. That's just loosely, ah, everything fell. Okay, so with the nose, I actually took my darning needle and I went up through the side as soon as I finished this and I popped him out right here in the middle of the nose. Actually, I should have done it right there on the nose. I'm going to plop that like that and I noticed that if I made little nostrils like so and actually popped it, it actually keeps the nose down down and I'm going to do that twice. So let's pop up again through the center like that and then I'm going to go over to this side where I want the nostril to be like so. So I want that bridge to be defined. So that's like that. I'm actually going to take that and tug it a little bit and that will make it so that it looks like this. And then again, take him down through the center, pop him up through the bottom, and back through the top, 
to really define that nostril and then as soon as I do that I'm then going to tighten it again just to really seal it in so that defined the shape on it and then I'm going to take this and go through the center of the head and see how far I can get. Can I get it through? I cannot get it through. All right, so through the side and see where I can stick him through. All right, that'll work. And that'll hide my tail. I can kind of just smush him into the size that I want. And now I'm gonna go take size that I want her. Excuse me, Chica is a girl. I don't know why I keep on using male pronouns. My bad. So I'm gonna go take the eyes and hot glue them on and then we are all done. All right, so I have hot glued the eyes on. This isn't my favorite eye, but I wanted to make it so that there was an eye that you can crochet instead of doing the felt with it. Some people really like this eye. I don't know, something about it just isn't quite right for me, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so let me know what you guys think. That's what the nostrils look like from up top. And next week, we're going to work on the Let's Eat bib. For that, you're going to need some confetti yarn. I have this one, which I have, all, I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby. And I'm using uh, paint, some fabric paint as well. I also have these little tiny nobbins. What are they called? I got these from the Dollar Tree. They're fastener dots. That's what it was. You can get these from any craft store as well. I hot glued them on and that's how it stays on. You just go like that and it's super duper easy. Next week, I'm going to have some tutorials on how to make the Let's Eat bib so that it can go with your Chica. And then after that, we're gonna work on some of the other uh, Five, Night Five Nights at Freddy's guys. I'm also gonna be turning a flat cat into Keo from Fruit Basket. So I've been saying about that for a while now, but the finale, Four Fruits Basket is coming out, so I'm really excited about that, and I wanted to kind of commemorate the final uh, bit for Fruits Basket. Stay tuned for next week. Uh, give a shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you for uh, supporting the channel. If you're interested in supporting our channel financially, if you're able to and want to, you can go to www.patreon.com slash knit and you can see the different rewards we offer our patrons there. Uh, thanks again for watching and be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell before you leave. We finally made it to 50,000 subscribers, which again, very anxiety inducing and mind blowing and oh my gosh I can't believe it and I'm so thankful so uh subscribe and hit the little bell if you want to see more videos like this until next time guys bye